Hi there, welcome back. Um, where have I been all week? <laughs> I've actually been here at my desk working. Um, it's just been one of those weeks where I found I was getting more done with my camera off. So I apologize. But I thought, I'm going to pop on. I'm going to say hi. And... Uh, uh, you'll see I've got quite a bit done in my books. I did do some recordings this week, and then I, I always watch them before I upload them. And they were mostly just repetitive. Uh, so, for the regulars, the repetitive stuff is repetitive. <laughs> um Anyhow, uh, so, <laughs> let's just get to work, shall we? I, I, um, AA, wow. And now whoever sent me these lovely little, little ribbons, uh, thank you. I, I have a few wonderful people who are generous with, with their stuff, one in particular, but several lovely people who are generous with their stuff so if you sent me that this stuff thank you um i'm at the point now where i think i've finished up doing my sewing on the page edges for experiment number three and i'm almost ready to start clipping them together and doing the poking the holes and um, and putting it putting it together. It's it's mostly going to be a nearly naked journal with just uh, um, just a few little things. That, you know, I I can't leave them alone. <laughs> so I I get them started and then turn them over to the new owner who then gets to go to town on them. I look at, I, when I'm at this point, I look at the profile, if I'm doing an all sorts book, I look at the profile of the uh, open edges of the pages and see if it looks balanced to me um, of things hanging off the edges. And I saw here a little spot here that I want to put something and I want to put something in here probably on this page let me get a paper clip and I probably want to put it in around here I think yes so let's do that together I'm not sure how long our little visit will be today but I thought I gotta, I gotta let my friends know that I haven't fallen off the face of the earth. I've actually had a really good week, and maybe that's why I've been able to get so much stuff done this week. Is um, my eyes are feeling good? The uh, the drops that the eye doctor prescribed are fantastic. The one, if my finger, I'm going to interrupt myself. If my fingers look disgusting, it's because I've been working this morning already and I've got three in one already all over my fingertips. And um, so it looks like it looks like the skin is peeling and um, and it, it, it's the the glue is peeling. <laughs> so don't uh, try to ignore it. <laughs> Anyhow, let's put this in because it's cute. I'm just going to make a little tab out of it. And then I'm going to make a little tab out of these. This was from some scrapbook paper. A little tiny piece I had left and I really didn't want to let it go to waste. So I got out my my um, 
think it's only one inch. Is it one inch? I think it's one inch. That looks like one inch. I know it probably says it somewhere. It doesn't, doesn't matter. And I do what I can, whether it's, whether it's I cut up whale tail tabs or the other tabs I have that punch too, or I try to make use of even tiny pieces of scrapbook paper until there's just skeletal remains. <laughs> so that's what these are, but now they're going to become just a little something cute hanging off the edge of the page. There we go. So I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Catherine. I guess I should have said that right off the bat. Um, that's going to drive me crazy. I just want to do a tiny little... So if it's going to go there, I might as well make it a bit bigger so that it, it could at least be a paper tuck. Hold on while I find something that would make a good paper tuck. Okay. So we're going to turn this paper tab into also a paper tuck. And that way it... Um, it can also, in addition to being cute to look at, be um, useful. So, like I said, if, if I've got pages out of a book that this looks like this was from the Edwardian lady, a leftover. And so I just simply got out my Sizzix and whatever pieces were left of those pages. If you recall, if you follow me, You'll remember I made two journals from one edition of the Edwardian Lady. I made a scruffy one and I made one that um, I'm going to break that and use only part of it. And um, so there were leftover pieces of pages. You know, if I used a photo on one page, there were still pages, pieces of pages that were really still cool. So I, in addition to using the punch, I used my nifty Sizzix that I was able to find on um, Virage Sale for a really great price and uh, just went to town. And I mean, look at that, that's pretty. And otherwise it might have, th that cannot be fussy cut. <laughs> or if you can fussy cut that, wowie. You are the Olympic champion of fussy cutting. So what I'm going to do is, I want you to stick out a bit. So I'm only gonna go about halfway. I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue. I haven't used this yet today. So let's see. Here, this is dirty. Let's see if it's, yes it is. Okay. So I want it to go about halfway. So I'm going to do that. So like I said, I've actually been missing in action because I've had a good week and I've got a lot done this week. I'm going to move you up a bit. And 
Although I did, typical of me, <laughs> I did do quite a few recordings. When I later watched the recordings for editing, sadly, they were just quite repetitive. And, uh, So then that's when I, I end up pitching them. <laughs> oh, I don't want you. I want you. And uh, they don't find their way. onto my channel, so I apologize for that, but, and a lot of them I was mostly just chatting and not really getting any work done. All right, so here's where I'm going to put this aside. I'll put this back into my little box where I keep all my tickets. Or else maybe it'll find its way into the um, into this book somewhere else. So now I'm going to use my art glitter glue like so. I want it to go about here, more or less, like that. There we go. Oh, that was a close one. I almost got glue on things. <sighs> Let me move this over so you can see, because right now you can't see. It's such a big book, it makes things difficult to um, so that you can see what I'm up to. There we go, and there we go. So now I've got two tuck spots. The only bad thing about this is they look like the kind of tuck spot that I make that's movable. This will, I say they, the it, looks like one of my movable tuck spots and this one will not be. It's glued right to the page. So the new owner will just have to remember that this one doesn't come off because I do have, I think I've got two that I've made so far of my movable kind. But here I'll show you. So see how now that can be used to tuck things in and tuck things in. So, and then it also fills that spot in the profile Let's move that so I don't confuse myself. I do that frequently. So now that little hole in the profile gets filled in. And then now we're going to do, oh yeah, that looks nice. So now it's, let's go down. So there it is, peeking out right here. All right. Let's come back out. And we'll do something here. And I think I know what I want to do. I have this leftover. This was the fabric that was the original cover. If you recall, if you've been watching me that that long so and 
I had quite a few weeks where it was difficult to work because my eyes were sore from surgeries and and such. Um, anyhow, this um, this was here. So this one was, I guess, on that side. This was on the other side. So you can see the book had water damage. This book was definitely ready for the burn pile or the recycle center to get the um, text block turned back into paper pulp and the covers usually still get burned. In my area, covers get, these are not recyclable, they get burned. So in my area, if you are making junk journals out of old books, you're actually doing a good thing for the environment. So what I did with that leftover fabric that was on the cover is I made a couple of tabs out of sort of as a little tip of the hat to the old cover. So I think I will put one here and I already put one in the back here. Now I'm wondering if I want to put a little, no, I don't want to put red with the green. It'll look Christmassy. Hmm. Is it going to go up there? No, I think I'm just going to leave it as a tab. So in this case, because this is cloth, I'm going to use three in one instead of art glitter glue. So now I have to just remember where I wanted it approximately. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. And then what I think I will do, just so that it's, is that the center? That's the center, okay. Of the first signature, okay. That helps me remember where to put it back. I think I will sew it. So, um, oh, nope, don't want you. I almost grabbed the art glitter glue. Yesterday was so warm here, it went up to 16 Celsius. And now it's down to minus 6. And it's so windy, it makes it even colder with the windshield. <laughs> but no snow, so I'll take it. That's all right. You don't have to shovel it. That's fine. Although, in a way, that's not good because the snow helps with the... Um, forest fires come summertime S snow melting and sinking into the ground you know all about that I'm worried this coming summer all of North America is just going to burn to the ground but I've got to stop thinking like that that's that's the worry wart Catherine showing up so what I did back here let's come in a little bit is I did, oh, sorry, I whacked you with my hand. I did a little zigzag stitch just along there and it looks kind of cute. So I think I will do that here. I didn't add any lace to it, but I shouldn't completely take over a book. So I am going to go right now and I'm going to just do a tiny little zigzag stitch along there and I will be right back. Okay, so <laughs> I decided to just keep going and I sewed all the way around the edge. Now there was some paper calisthenics trying to fit that under my under the arm of my sewing machine. Now here's where you have to 
just mush that back in. The underside always has you deal with displacement and oh there sorry about that that was completely probably completely out of camera so I mushed it down with my little tiny bone folder um, and then another way is because the core shows through just give it a little bit of give it a little bit of um, distress ink and it covers a multitudes, multitude of sins, I am told. So let's just, rather than pulling threads through, I'm going to sew the two, I'm going to tie the two bottom ones in a knot and tie the two top ones in a knot and then they'll be good to go. And the new owner can, uh, if they don't like threads, they can trim these off. Or if they like, if they're like me and they think threads look cool, they can uh, leave the threads. There we go. So we start tonight with a new dog trainer coming to the house. This will be dog trainer number three. We're hoping she has the magic answer for us. And I know the answer is in us. It's not Kirby. It's whenever a dog has troubles, it's <laughs> nine times out of ten, it's the human. It's not the dog. And um, because of COVID and because of her surgeries and my surgeries, she is very much a Velcro, and because I work from home, she's very much a Velcro dog, and she has terrible separation anxiety. If we try and go out somewhere, I have one of those baby monitors, because I had a feeling, and I was right, um, she barks and is terribly upset the entire time we are gone. She has not learned to settle. You know how they say, well, let them bark it out. They'll soon just tire themselves out and go to sleep. And our little Kirby does not. If we're out for two hours, she will bark for two hours. If we're out for three hours, she will bark for three hours. And that's mentally not healthy for a little dog. Or any little animal, if they're if that's what they're going through. I've never had a cat. Well, I've lived with a cat, but because it wasn't my cat, it didn't really like me. Um, my uh, my stepdaughter, my husband's daughter. Because she was an adult, saying stepdaughter sounds strange. Because I think it gives the impression that I helped raise her, and she was a full grown woman. Um, her mom did a good job, raised a, a good, strong woman. And uh, so she feels more like a bonus daughter. That's a good bonus daughter. My bonus daughter had a cat when we, uh, when we all became a family together. So Buttons was in our home, but Buttons uh, was very much attached, of, of all things, to her and also adored my son. <laughs> So um, I'm gonna trim that a little shorter. So, but I don't. So I don't know whether cats it makes sense to me that they can go through separation anxiety. I mean, humans can. Anyhow, so we have tried everything. I think I've watched every YouTube channel, every YouTube video there is on things to do, and we're at a loss as to what to do next. And I phoned the vet our vet, and I said, please, do you have anyone you suggest? Because we've gone through three now. Three, uh, we went to classes, and then we also had two private dog trainers that came to our home. The last one actually said, I give up, just let her bark. Can you believe it? And so um, this, the, the vet said, well, we 
we recommend such and such a, a woman. She's in a town about 10 minutes away. And uh, otherwise, if, if, uh, if she can't help you, then yeah, we recommend even just for a little while to medicate her, just to calm her down. And, but it's not forever. It's just for a few times so that she sort of learns, oh, I can nap while they go away. At least that's apparently the theory behind it. Because I said to the vet, I said, what would you do? If this was your dog, what would you do? Because we've got to be able to go get groceries. We've got right now, she's two years old, and for two years we've been tag team going out. We've, we don't, we can't go out anywhere together. All right. So there's our little, there's our little tab here. And then we put in a little, uh, I'm going to have to put something interesting to, for this to hold. So we've got a little bit of Edith there. As I always say, it's not a complete journal without some Edith. And then we've got this one here. Arrow Lakes bus line. <laughs> and uh, that's sticking out. I like that. And we've got, um, I've got some, some more, uh, oh, brain cramp measuring tape up here. And some lace sticking out up there. And I have a rusty clip that's going to go on eventually but there's no point putting it on yet so my next step and that's it's rather dull so I will bid you adieu here is um, I will be doing my paper clipping and poking the holes through and the next time we get together hopefully at some point over the weekend so probably most likely Sunday. If it's going to happen, it'll be Sunday, maybe Monday. Um, this will be a text block and it will be glued inside here. And then I will be using the original. I still have the other side of the beautiful marbled papers that were inside. And I'm going to reuse those as the end papers in this book, like I did with Florence. This will just be on a larger landscape kind of scale, although Florence was much thicker than this book. But this book, in a way, will be a similar size because the new owner will have much more room this way than Florence was. So... So thanks for joining me. Wish me luck. To, wish me, and Kirby and Dan, luck tonight with the next uh, dog trainer to help us help our little girl, so that she can learn to uh, learn to just have a little nap when we go out. Oh, they're going out. Okay. Well, I'm gonna curl up here and uh, I'm gonna have a little snooze. And uh, and like I said, I mean, I'm sure. People will write down below what worked for the dog, but let me, I promise you, <laughs> I'm probably going to say, yep, tried it, yep, tried it, yep, tried it. <laughs> We've tried putting on the YouTube channels that have calming dog music with dogs playing and <laughs> all, all those things, white noise machines. We've got the baby monitor so that we, I can literally talk to her and say, Kirby, go lay down lay down. Well, she's barking so much, she can't even hear me talking to her. <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. Anyhow, thanks for joining me. I know I already said it, but now I feel like I need to say it again. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, and we'll get together soon. Like I said, mostly, most likely Sunday, maybe Monday. Bye.